Meyer Nassar here from the Nassar Law Group. I hope everyone is doing well. I know these are very difficult times and every time I say whether you're doing well or not, I'm looking at it from the perspective about your health. I'm looking at it from the perspective of you being with your family, your loved ones, being in a position where you're okay today. Let's not focus on tomorrow. I know that tomorrow seems to be the, the driving cause of a lot of anxiety because we're dealing with a situation where there seems to be some light at the end of the tunnel, uh, but we're still speculating on when that will be. So the reason for this video is to talk about people that are being let go from their jobs and what opportunities they're, they're being offered in light of being terminated. A lot of people have been reaching out to me about their severance. They have been issued a severance agreement, an agreement that is severing the relationship between the employer and the employee. They're being essentially laid off. And in that process, sometimes employers will give you a severance amount, a compensation, consideration, some amount of money that will allow you to pay the various necessities that you have to sustain some form of your livelihood for a number of weeks or months, depending on how much they give to you. But the question that I have is whether you, as an individual that's been offered a severance, have been offered that severance because there's perhaps an, is an underlying reason where the employer seeks a protection. What that protection is, is in the form of the releases that are within that severance agreement. The releases are for the employer not to be sued by you. And so the question becomes, is there any unlawful reason that your employer could have had in this process, which you may be able to prove or show influenced and motivated that decision? And that's why at this stage, when you deal with severance negotiations, that's the first question I will ask you if you reach out to me. Ha do you believe that there was any form of discriminatory motive that is unlawful against you in making this decision to let you go? And if there isn't one that we can actually analyze and find, and there was essentially a legitimate reason, it doesn't mean that we as attorneys can't continue to negotiate and try to increase what you've been offered. We have to use our skills. It's not gonna be easy, but we're gonna have to appeal to the employer and their attorneys to do the right thing. This is a very difficult time for you as an individual, and we wanna be able to use our skills of negotiation for your benefit. Negotiation is not that easy. It is a skill. It is used in a manner that is able to have a communication with opposing counsel in a relationship building way to try to get you more money. Nobody's gonna give you money unless that individual, that attorney recommends it to the employer. The employer is ultimately gonna put more money on the table if they feel like they're being convinced that it is the right thing to do, whether it's an unlawful reason or whether there is no reason that you can prove to be unlawful. It all comes down to leverage. It comes down to the skills of your attorney to negotiate these very difficult things. To go through that severance and look at the various clauses, the various aspects that protect the employer and those that protect you and trying to level the playing field. That is what a severance negotiation is. And right now in this time, employment attorneys that are out there that have the skills to negotiate on your behalf are there for you to be able to review these severance agreements, to look at and evaluate and analyze to see if there is any unlawful basis why you were let go and then be able to use that mechanism as a leverage to try to get an increase in how much you're being offered. Now, this is a very difficult time because the court systems, the administrative agencies that deal with employment discrimination are somewhat delayed. They're very much delayed, right? The state courts are pretty much closed outside of essential uh, legal matters. And this does not fall into that category. But the EEOC is still open and we can still file claims within the EEOC if they warrant it. But the, given the climate, the priority is for you to get money now. And I know that because a lot of people are experiencing the financial impact of this whole situation. And so as a part of our analysis, as a part of our conversation, we will have that discourse with you into determining what you want. That is the first and priority that exists for me as an attorney and my firm is to know what you want and what your goal is, and then being able to chart a process and strategy that allows us to reach that goal is the way that we work with you. So if you or anybody that you know has been offered a severance agreement, has been proposed a severance agreement, 
feel free to reach out to us for a free consultation. We'd be happy to talk to you about it and see how we can help you. Take care, guys. Stay safe and take care of each other. Take care.